producers of the first Tamil film to be made in Sri Lanka in more than 40 years hope that this is the start of a homegrown revival. Tamils normally watch movies made in India because the local industry has been crippled pretty much by decades of war and lack of experienced movie makers. Manel Fernandez reports now from Colombo. <laughs> With an original script, a team comprising more amateurs than professionals, and a dream to take on a multi-million dollar industry. <laughs> Komali Kings is the first full-length Tamil film to be made locally in more than four decades. I had made a conscious decision uh, not to, uh, you know, not to get any uh, Indian technicians or anyone involved in this movie, just to prove a point. Uh, I, I only went for sound mixing in, in India uh, and apart from that everything else has been done here and that's not been done before either. In the film, Ratnam plays a cash-strapped London expatriate who travels here to attend a wedding. To save money, the family stays with relatives who have problems of their own. The ensuing attempts to solve those problems produce hilarious results. The film, which the director describes as a dark comedy, is refreshingly candid about some aspects of Sri Lanka's Tamil community. I got inspired by this Charlie Chaplin quote, quote where he says, life is a tragedy in close-up but a comedy in long shot. And I thought that was apt for me personally and also uh, the, the lives of my community. So I thought I'll do a comedy and laugh at ourselves. The film premiere was a hive of excitement as the community celebrated the achievement. Initial reaction as many streamed out of the screening was positive. I enjoyed it very much and I hope that there's a bright future for Tamil movies in Sri Lanka. This is our movie by our people for us. It's a great movie. Because of the lack of industry professionals, the director had to use more than 80% of crew from well-established and prolific Sinhala movie makers in Sri Lanka. For years, Tamil filmgoers in Sri Lanka have watched South Indian films, adored its actors, sung its songs and adopted its fashions. Breaking into an industry dominated for so long by South Indian cinema is no easy task. But the team behind Komali Kings seemed determined to take on that challenge. One of the main challenges is to create a unique style for Sri Lankan Tamil cinema. We are yet to establish uh, our own identity in terms of literature we have done, but in cinema we haven't. So it takes a long time to uh, get accustomed. Komali Kings will be different things to different people. But the director says it's a first step to finding an identity for Sri Lankan Tamil cinema. One that he hopes inspires others to contribute to its revival. Mina Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo.